हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम चंद्रवंशी मयूरी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर शिवलिंगेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी अलमला टुडे हियर टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक मेथड्स फॉर एनहांसमेंट ऑफ बायोबिलिटी इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोबिलिटी व्हाट आर द टाइप ऑफ बायोबिलिटी एंड व्हाट आर द मेथड्स फॉर एनहांसमेंट ऑफ द बायोबिलिटी एंड मेजरमेंट ऑफ द बायोबिलिटी विच कैन बी यूज In this lecture, we will discuss about method for enhancement of viability, which includes following contents: introduction, various approaches, methods for altering biopharmaceutical properties, viability enhancement through the enhancement of the drug solubility or dissolution rate, and last one is the references. Various approaches to overcome the viability of the drugs are pharmaceutical approach. फार्माकोकानेटिक अप्रोच एंड बायोफार्मा बायोलॉजिकल अप्रोच फर्स्ट वन इज द फार्मास्यूटिकल अप्रोच विच इन्वॉल्व्स मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉर्मुलेशन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस और फिजिकोकेमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ड्रग्स विदाउट चेंजिंग द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ड्रग्स नेक्स्ट वन इज द फार्माकोकानेटिक अप्रोच इन दिस फार्माकोकानेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द ड्रग्स कैन बी अल्टर्ड बाय मॉडिफाइंग द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ड्रग्स this approach is categorized into the two types first one is the development of new chemical entity with desirable features and pro drug next one is the biological approach biological approach is totally related with the route of administrations of by the changing from oral to the parenteral one next one is the methods for altering the biopharmaceutical properties are cat categorized into the four types enhancement of the drug solubility or dissolution rate this is the major rate limiting steps in absorption of the most of the drugs and applies to the bcs that is the biopharmaceutical classification systems class second drugs second one is the enhancement of the drug permeability this is applicable to the bcs class third drugs enhancement of the drug stability this is applies to the bcs class fifth drug and last one is the enhancement of gastrointestinal retention this is applies to the class second third and fifth drugs the methods for enhancement of viability through the enhancement of the drug solubility or the dissolution rate first one is the micronization nanonization supercritical fluid recrystallizations spray freezing into the liquid evaporation precipitation in aqueous solution use of surfactant use of salt forms use of precipitation inhibitors alteration of the ph drug microenvironment use of amorphous hydrates solvates and metastable polymorph solvent deposition precipitation selective absorptions or insoluble carriers solid solution eutectic mixture solid dispersions and last one is the molecular encapsulation with cyclodextrin first of all we will discuss about micronization micronization its name indicates micro micro means it's having the size about 1 to 10 microns this process involves the reducing of large sized particles into the smaller sized one into the 1 to 10 microns and which will results into the increased surface area of the drug particles some methods are used for increasing for decreasing the surface area by the micronization techniques are spray drying or the use of attrition methods by using the fluid energy mills examples of the drugs which can be which sides can be reduced by the micronization are Griseofavin, digoxin, nitrofurantine, and several steroids and sulfa drugs. Next one is the nanonization. Nanonization, it also includes nano means uh, small, and uh, it includes the particle size around two hundred to six hundred nanometers. Some techniques are used to nanonize the compounds are or the substances are per pearl milling. homogenization in water homogenization in aqueous media or in water 
with water miscible liquids examples of the drugs which can be nanonized are amphotericin b next technique is the supercritical fluid recrystallization this is the novel nanonizing solubilization technology which is applicable to increase into the recent area which is used to decrease the particle size by the supercritical fluid processes and at a near critical temperature spf that is the supercritical fluids are highly compressible allowing moderate changes in the pressure to greatly alters the density and mass transfer characteristics of the fluids that largely determines the solvent power solvent powers and once the drug is solubilized within the scf they may be recrystallized at a great reduced particle size next one is the spray freezing into the liquids which involves atomizing an aqueous organic aqueous organic co-solvent solution aqueous organic emulsion or suspension containing drug and pharmaceutical excipient directly into the compressed gases some gases are used like carbon dioxide helium propane ethane etc during these processes it is used to nanonized and nano structured particles next technique is the evaporation precipitation in aqueous solution this process utilizes the rapid phase separation to nucleate and grow the nanoparticles and microparticles of lipophilic drugs this is the also the mostly used techniques for preparing the microparticles and nanoparticles next is the surf, use of surfactant surfactant as we know surfactants are the surfex active agent and they shows their activity by reducing the surface tension use of surfactants result into the enhancing the absorption enhances the dissolution rate as well as permeability of the drugs they are used below the cmc values that is the critical micellar concentration since above the cmc drugs entrapped into the micelle structures and falls to the partition in dissolution fluids non ionic surfactants like polysorbates are used some examples of the drugs steroidal drugs like spironolactones are used uh, to improve their uh, viability twin 18 increases increases the dissolution rate rate of phenanthidine next one is the use of salt form salt have improved by solubility and dissolution characteristics alkali metal salts of acidic drugs like penicillin and strong acid salts of base drugs like atropine are more soluble than parent drug factors that influences the salt selection are physical chemical properties of the salts safety counter ion therapeutic indication and route of administration use of precipitation inhibitors increases the free drug concentration above the equilibrium solubility which results in free drug concentration above the equilibrium solubility and result in super saturation which leads to the precipitations and it can be prevented by using some inert polymer like hpmc pvp pva and polyethylene glycol that is the peg next one is the alteration of the drugs micro environment this alteration of the drugs into the micro environments can be achieved by the two main methods or the by two ways first one is the in situ salt formation and second one is the addition of buffer to the formulation an example is the buffered aspirin tablet use of amorphous anhydrides solvates and metastable polymorphs internal structure of this drug is important for selection of proper form drugs with greater solubility as we know amorphous form are more soluble than the hydrates solvate forms are more soluble than the non solvates next one is the solvent deposition poorly aqueous soluble drugs such as nephedipine is dissolved in 
organic solvents like alcohol and deposited on an inert hydrophilic solid matrix such as starch or microcrystalline cellulose by the evaporation next one is the precipitation methods in this methods poorly aqueous soluble drugs such as cyclosporin is dissolved in suitable organic solvents and followed by its mixing with non solvents to effect precipitation of the drugs in nano sized particles both um, solvent deposition is also used for the poorly aqueous soluble drugs and precipitation is also used for the poorly aqueous soluble drugs and the product which is to be obtained by the precipitation is called as the hydrosols next one is the selective adsorption on insoluble carriers highly active adsorbents like bentonite can enhance its dissolution rate of poorly water soluble drugs such as griseoferrin endomethacin prednisone by maintaining the concentration gradient at its maximum physic this can be occurs due to the two main points first one is the physical uh, weak physical bonding between adsorbate and adsorbent hydration and swelling of clay in aqueous medium next one is the solid solution particle size of the drug can be reduced by submicron level by the three means first one is the use of solid solution second one is the eutectic mixture and third one is the solid dispersion first of all eutectic mixture it can be prepared by using the methods that is the fusion method eutectic mixture melts differ from solid solution in that the fused melt of solid solvent shows complete miscibility but negligible solid solid solubility that is such a system are basically intimately blended mixture of two crystalline components eutectic mixture exposed to water shows rapid solubility next one is the solid dispersion solid dispersion are generally prepared by solvent or coprecipitation method both methods are used for the solid preparation of solid dispersions uh, solid dispersion includes two components solute and solid carriers both are dissolved in common volatile liquid solvents such as alcohol some polymers like peg hpmc are used to prepare the solid dispersion of poorly water soluble drugs such as nifedipine and itraconazoles last technique is the molecular encapsulation with cyclodextrin beta and gamma cyclodextrin and several der derivatives are used to form molecular inclusion complex with hydrophobic drugs having poor aqueous solubility molecular encapsulated drugs has greatly improved the aqueous solubility and dissolution rate some drugs which can be encapsulated with the cyclodextrin are thiazide diuretics barbiturates benzodiazepines and number of nsaids these are the references thank you so much